the challenge for Republicans today and throughout really until that midterm election is how do they react to the president's evolving comments on impeachment. Now, the president putting forward a rather novel approach, namely that you can't be impeached if you're doing a good job. That's not actually what the United States Constitution says. It says something about high crimes and misdemeanors. What you're seeing is a dynamic on Capitol Hill and at the White House where Republicans are almost embracing talk about impeachment, trying to accelerate the conversation there to saying, what would happen if President Trump were impeached? The president is warning that there would be a stock market crash, that there would be economic pain felt throughout the country, and that Democrats simply can't do it because he's doing a good job. What you're seeing from the Democratic side is almost more interesting, and that is a reluctance to talk about impeachment. They do want to focus on what they say is the culture of corruption in Washington under Donald Trump. The swamp has not been drained, but they're very reluctant to use the I word. In some ways, Democrats don't want impeachment to be a rallying cry for the Republican base so the Republicans actually perform better in the midterm elections. Here's what prognosticators are saying about these midterm elections. You're likely going to have the Democrats take control of the House of Representatives. That means they can, A, investigate and try to have all kinds of subpoenas on what the president is doing, but they can also potentially start impeachment proceedings. But again, they don't want to get ahead of it. Their goal right now for House Democrats is to take back the House and then see where it goes. What you're seeing from the White House is really a warning campaign about the political consequences of impeachment and what it would do to people's pocketbooks. For NBC News, Hans Nichols for Euronews at the White House.